Good afternoon and welcome to Carrollton, Texas. This is the uh, February Winter Storm 2021 and today will be the uh, final day in my evaluation of a couple pieces of gear for my uh, winter loadout. Today's scenario is going to be an urban search and rescue, a situation where there's a family of three trapped in a vehicle. Uh, they got lost, vehicle ended up uh, crashing, can't turn the engine over. They don't know exactly where they are. Um, it's going to take, based on the uh, cell phone GPS, we have an approximate location. All that's known is that if they're in that area, it's going to take a highly specialized vehicle to get in and rescue them, and that's going to take several hours. They're not they're not dressed to handle it, can't turn the engine over. So the next best thing is to place a ground-based asset as close as possible, actually find the vehicle so that uh, someone can report an exact position, and then provide whatever first aid is necessary along with thermal blankets and other resources to help them last long enough until emergency services can get the right equipment out. Now, weather outside, as you can see, we have some very, very light flurries. We're at the end of one right now. It's 13 degrees, minus one wind chill. So this is going to be an ideal opportunity to expose even the tiniest flaw in my uh, cold weather load out in terms of filming uh, i'm filming inside today for two reasons uh, this first segment is probably the only one that's going to have narration trying to preserve the battery and the gopro i will be quickly attaching the gopro to this uh, waterproof housing now you're probably thinking you know why am i using a waterproof housing there's no water out there it actually buys me two benefits, one of which is that the GoPro does dissipate heat during operation and the housing will trap and hold that heat at least for some small period of time, which should help extend battery life. The other advantage, so you see it has these much larger buttons and these are actually designed to be operated by someone diving while wearing diving gloves. And I'm hoping that uh, that will make the GoPro easier to operate with uh, the thick winter gloves I'm wearing. On that note, this will be the final phase of evaluation of the outdoor research gloves that uh, I mentioned yesterday in uh, the outing at uh, Arbor Hills Nature Preserve. I will also provide the uh, link to those gloves in the video and I'll uh, discuss their performance uh, when I return. It'll take me about another five to eight minutes to you know, completely get geared up and then I'll get started and uh, we'll just see how well things go. Now before I go, there is one more item I want to uh, cover. I'm expecting footing to be pretty bad. Uh, particularly if I have to get out on any type of incline. So, in addition to general cold weather gear, another thing I'm evaluating today are these Hill Sound trail crampons, or mini spikes as most people call them. Um, this is a product that I would likely only use maybe once every couple of years, so uh, I wanted to try something that was at least in the sub $100 range. I will point out a couple things very quickly. When you put them on, you probably want to put them on before you go out and use them. This is not a product that I would tr want to try and put on out in the field, especially with uh, thick gloves. Even if you manage that, one of the things you have to be careful about is making sure that these chains are carefully aligned with the grooves in your tread. Now, with these Rocky Alpha Force, I was able to do a fairly good job except here at the heels. That's where I'm just out of luck. And so you'll notice that the uh, chain links are more exposed there than they are in other areas. Now, for heel-to-toe motion on hard surfaces like uh, rock or concrete, you know, that could be a problem. So it's very important when I'm out to use primarily French technique and avoid heel to toe motion. Now it's quite possible that I'm going to be evaluating this gear 
well outside the range that it was intended. So when I come back and do my final review, if it turns out, you know, they just didn't hold up. Well, that's not on the product. That's on me. It's just a sign that for this particular use case, I'm going to have to go out and invest in uh, a much more robust alternative. But we never find out where the edge of the envelope is until we get out and push. So I'll check back in once I get going.
Well, that was a nice relaxing uh, walk in the park. You probably can't see, but for about the last 20-25 minutes, um, it was almost a complete whiteout. It's let up just a little bit. Uh, I lost the GoPro battery just under two hours. I'm actually surprised it lasted that long. Um, I was not able to get the GoPro out of its uh, housing in that environment, so I had to come back and do that indoors. So anyway, a quick wrap-up. I was out about 2 hours and 15 minutes. Um, overall, I have to give the equipment. I evaluated uh, at least an A, if not an A+. Plus. Gloves did just fine, although I have to re-emphasize, just as I said in yesterday's video, you really want to have liners. Um, the liners proved to be invaluable for giving me just that extra edge when the north wind was just, you know, hammering me. And then if you have to uh, remove the glove like I do and manipulate gear, uh, you're really going to appreciate a good liner. So here's how the, uh, the Hill Sound product held up. This is over two hours of very hard use, and um, I'd say about 80 to 85 percent of the time was open ground. Very little time over bare concrete, but a lot of time over concrete that was uh, covered with very hard packed ice and uh, some snow. So they held up extremely well. I'm definitely going to use this product again. Uh, gloves are still an open issue. I have two more pair. I want to evaluate uh, the next pair. I was supposed to get them delivered uh, two days ago. Didn't work out. Oh, can you see the rabbit out there? Anyway, uh, hopefully those will get in soon enough before the next snow. Uh, those are Mechanics Sub-20s, and then I'll try to get that uh, eval out. Thank you.